Um, now, this debate is not about the Second Amendment. Um, it is about whether the federal assault weapons ban should be uh, reenacted. Uh, my partner and I are, are for keeping the Second Amendment. Um, now, I do agree that U.S. citizens, uh, they have the right to bear arms. In fact, um, I plan to own a gun in the near future. What I do not believe is that people have the right to own military-grade weapons that can and do easily kill a large group of children within minutes. If we want to address the Second Amendment, well, uh, the same sophisticated assault weapons we have today, we did not have over 200 years ago when the Second Amendment was written. According to writer Michael Waldman, who wrote the book titled The Second Amendment, A Biography, stated that no evidence of it being about individual gun ownership for self-protection or for hunting. Um, the focus was on the militias. To the framers, that phrase, a well-regulated -re militia, was really critical. In the debates in James Madison's notes of the Constitutional Convention on the floor of the House of Representatives, as they wrote the Second Amendment, all the focus was about the militias. Now, at the same time, these militias are not the National Guard. Every adult white man was required to be in the, in the militias and was required to own um, a gun and to bring it for home, bring it from home. So it was the individual right to fulfill the duty to serve in the militias. Now, assault weapons may only be used in a fraction of homicides in the U.S., but what this statement really sounds like that uh, we as Americans should just accept these deaths as an inevitability and as normal. This is not normal. America has more mass shootings per year than any other country in the world, any other first world country in the world. Um, I will now read off a chart of victims from gun violence per country from politifact.org. Canada, 24, Finland, 41, China, 80, England, 23, Australia, 9, France, 27, Germany, 74, Mexico, 21, Norway, 100, Switzerland, 32, and the U.S., 992. China, again, only has 80 victims from 2015, and they have a population of over a billion. The U.S. has over 300 million. Now, uh, in conclusion, the U.S. should restore the assault weapons ban because, one, the expiration of the federal assault weapons ban has a detrimental effect to the public safety. Two, current legislation is weak to curb mass shootings. And three, reenacting the federal assault weapons ban with more restrictions will result in lower mass shootings. In fact, within the first, again, within the first eight years since the expiration of the federal assault weapons ban, again, mass shootings have increased by 200 percent. And uh, now the rate of mass shootings since 2011 has tripled. Um, there has also been um, loopholes created, for instance, um, the U.S. manufacturers changed names of certain um, assault rifles so that they could be allowed to be uh, allowed to be shipped parts to they could allow parts to be shipped to the U.S. and that is why we are for the federal assault weapons ban reenactment and for higher restrictions within that ban. Thank you. Yeah, you are. Yeah, he spoke. He doesn't get a third negative rebuttal.